Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be doing a collection tour. I'm so sorry it's been a while since I uploaded, but um, I actually don't have an excuse. I was just in a hobby slump for a little bit, um, and then I got some new horses, and no, I'm not in a hobby slump, uh, because when I get new ponies it makes me happy, but now I really need to downsize. So yeah, I'm doing a collection tour today. My last collection tour was in uh, like spring of... 2019 so it was basically a year ago um and I am my collection has changed quite a bit I got a new cabinet and I also got a lot more models and sold a lot of models um so yeah let's get started okay we'll start with an overview this is my taller cabinet and this is my new cabinet um it's just shorter but it's also deeper for like my longer horses so up here we have some stable mates. Um, I'm not going to really point all that many out to you. These are mostly regular runs. This is Primrose. She's just, these two are stable mate club horses. And then this is a little like vintage classic foal. Um, then here we have, um, what is his name? Aurelius. Um, two glossy surprises. That's from 2017 and that's from 2015. And then we have Bionose. Here is like my just shelf of black horses. So we have Glossy, or just Gutzen Van Tietzel, Glossy Dark Horse Surprise, Glossy Cortez C, and um, the Fell Pony. And then we have, um, what is this horse's name? Oh, uh, Glossy Gigi Valentine. Um, the 2017 store special, um, Repeat the Beat. Ambrose. Um, then my only Peter Stones I have right now. This is uh, what is uh, Flower. Um, I think it's Liberty. And then this is oh god, it's a chip, and I don't remember its name. But it's from like the some event. Um, then we have my 2012 Stoneley Surprise. Um, Glossy Sierra Rose from 2018, uh, Glossy Pop the Court from 2014, and a The Web Special, Special Arosa. By the way, um, I have like show names for these, but I'm not going to be putting them all in the video just because I take too long. But you can check out my barn account, and I'm slowly, very slowly, taking photos of all my horses and documenting my entire collection from the when I started collecting until now. So it's um, Blue Phoenix Farm, and I'll put the link in the description. Um, here we have my pony shelf. One of them I have a lot of. I have like a pony and warm blood problem. So we have Blue, Golden Boy, my Berry Ponies, um, Goji, and Bilberry. Bilberry is new. Um, it's funny, I've never won a web special until Goji, and I've been in the collector's club for like five years. And, um, then I won <laughs> Goji and Bilberry right in a row, and they're both Appaloosas from the same, like, series. So I thought that was really funny. Um, and then we have, uh, uh, Brookside Pink Magnum. Um, then we have, literally, catch me, um, Valiant the Connoisseur, Nirvana from the event, what event? The Seattle Soiree. <laughs> Gosh, I'm like a crackhead today. Um, and the volunteer model, Man of the Hour. Okay, let's do the other side. Oh my god, that was like a calf workout I just, or quad workout I just like got up from the squ a squat. Okay, <laughs> here are some foals. This is Iris, the Gambler's Choice, um, Fruitcake Philly, the Rosemary, the Vintage Club thing, stable mate, um, some single day stable mates, the, some Django's, uh, some G1's. Then we have my raffle models, my pride and joys. So we got we got a uh, North Star here, and then we got Jackpot over here, and down here is another. I have the hiccups, dear God. Okay, <laughs> okay. This is this has got to stop. I can't be hiccuping. Okay. We have a mini Winnie back there. That's like my only mini Winnie that I like, um, and that I have. Um, uh, so then we have Glossy Thunder. Glossy Banks Vanilla, it's a prize model from 2017, and the, who is this? Here's Welcome Surprise, the Appaloosa uh, run of 30 
from 2019 and he's probably like my third favorite model in my collection. I don't know. Like I love this horse so much. Anyways, um, here we have uh, my like mare shelf, I guess. So this is, um, Smoke and Double Dutch, um, That's Just a Dream, Smoke, Rian and Cadell. Here we have Demeter, who actually is for sale, um, but I, like, would not mind keeping her. Um, Vallegro, uh, just my dog just sighed. Did you just sigh? Is life really hard for you? Yeah, okay. Um, the 70th anniversary saddlebred and confetti from the sunshine celebration. Ow. <laughs> Here we have some classic foals. There's like Zoe and Xander and then I don't know what that one is. It's from like Walmart or something. Um, oh, what is your name? Jesus. Cosmic One. Um, the fun foal who's for sale. Uh, this little unicorn who's adorable and my only collector and I love it. And then we have uh, Creamsicle, Callahan, and Bella. Here we have Killarney and Mariah's Boone and Glossy uh, Hickory Hills Wall Street and Glossy Seamus. Where is his? He should have his like little thing and I can't find it. One sec. I'm concerned. Okay. A good thing is I found this little tag. It's like in the bind, my show binder with my collectability documentation. I am dumb. I forgot I put it there. So here is kind of messy, but we have a new unbox box Mighty Muscle Draft, who I'm selling, and a new unbox box Pup Do, who is for sale, but like if she doesn't sell, then I'm not going to be mad because I'm going to use her for photography. Then we have like just these buttons on the floor that I need to do something with, and then I, like, I don't, yeah, they're on the floor. I'm a mess. I don't know. Okay, so here's my second cabinet. This is a Juggernaut, who I'm super happy to have, but I had to sell him um, for money. He's pending time payments, and then I'm going to ship him out. Um, this is glossy or just enchanted. Um, he just doesn't stand well, but he shows really well for me. So he just stays up here, but he gets really dusty. So I need to figure something out for him. This is a body Oliver that I got on a trade that I'm sending back. And then this guy is also being sold. Hopefully I just need money for them <laughs> and then they will be gone. <laughs> um, okay. In this shelf, I have some Okay, I keep hitting my knees on these doors. Okay, um, my Alborosa Conga, Chase Peas, my Magnolias, Chase Peas, um, some Single Day Stable Mates from 2019. Then we have Darwin, he's cute. Trooper Black Caviar, um, and Glossy LV Integrity, who is tentatively up for sale. I love her, but mine's not perfectly LSQ. Um, she has a couple of just minor things. I honestly would still show her. I just like would prefer money and then maybe try to find like one that's like perfect. But like honestly, like the CC appreciation models are like hard to find like perfect. But like if you want her, she's like lovely. I just and all and like the flaws are super minor. Then we have um, my Murado little conga. And um, this one's from the Stable Mate Club, and then the rest are like the 20th, 30th anniversary uh, Stable Mate set with some others mixed in there. This is like the, just like the regular vaulting drafter. And then we have a 2017 Stable Mate, and then Wolfgang, who's super cute. I like wanted this guy for a while, and I'm happy to have him. Then we have this shelf. Um, so I just think it's super satisfying. I don't know, because like, I don't know. It's okay. Two flea bin craze and then two bayathies. I don't know. I really like it. Um, so here's old Ironside, Cedric, a glossy once upon a time who is also new. I got him second hand. He's super cool. Um, and then obviously I got him second hand. I didn't travel back in time to Briarfest 2011. I don't know what I'm thinking. Okay. Um, and then we have uh, the Connoisseur Wonderlist. Okay. And then last but not least, in my last shelf, we have Don't Look Twice, Glossy Braided Diana, they're all glossy, I don't know why I said glossy, Glossy Cody, and um, Please Dream Max. And then here's my like mini resin custom shelf. Um, this is a custom painted by me, I know I am not a talented artist, but he's just, I don't know, he's there. Um, I am actually kind of proud of him, because he's my first ever, really, like my second ever custom. Um, 
yeah. Um, then this is painted by Mindy Berg. She painted him at like Briarfest and she's amazing. And this is a mini Scarlet sculpted by Stacey Tomlinson and painted by Jessica Berry. This is a um, little Magnolia painted by Austin DeShields. This is um, a Rona resin painted by Karen Dietrich. And then this is a uh, tango sculpted by Sarah Mink and painted by Chris Flint. And then here we have a little mini Albie painted by Cynthia Wyatt Briley. And here is a little Icelandic painted by Taylor Outs or Kingston Studios. And I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong. And here, oh my god, okay. I'm not comfy right now. Okay, here are my two medallions. This one is Pino sculpted by Kelly Parks, painted by. Uh, Austin Shields, and then this is Syrah, painted by Kylie Parks, and painted, did I say painted by Kylie Parks? Sculpted by Kylie Parks, and painted by Meredith Warren. Um, I just got him painted, and by her, um, in a commission, and he is gorgeous. I sent, like, the cool, like, this reference photo of this bloody faced and illusion, and she knocked him out of the park, and the back is really cool. It's like marbled. Yeah, he's awesome. And then, last but not least, are my traditional resins. So we have Rorschach, sculpted by Sue Kern, and painted by Angelica Nelson. We have um, Maxi Stebaro, sculpted by Morgan Kilborn, and painted by Summer Prosser. And then we have the lovely Tenorio, sculpted by, um, what is, what is, who are you sculpted by? Christina Lucas Francis, and painted by Karen D. Nope. Karen Williams and he's awesome and um, he's for sale because he takes up too much space and I have because I have two resins coming in that are portrait pieces um I have so this is all my horses except for the two that are coming in and they're portrait pieces um one is in progress um with and it's an in progress sugar and spice and he's with uh Katie, or she's with Katie Langford, and she's a portrait of a Mary Elise, and then I have my Levi, and he's with Monica West, but he is, he hasn't even been started yet, so it'll be a while before he comes home, and it'd be fine if I just had him, but the sugar and spice takes up a ton of space, and, uh, she needs to, she needs to go in his spot, and even then I don't think I'll have enough space, so, slight problem, but I'll figure it out. So, yeah, that's my collection, um, I have some videos coming up. But yeah, I guess I can give you a little overview. So, here are the stable mates. Again, some horsies. More horsies. I have so many horsies. It's too many. I have like a warm blood pony problem and an Appaloosa problem. Um, oh, I forgot to mention the dog. Um, and then some more stable mates and uh, some more ponies. I love my ponies. Okay, that's all them. Here is the puppy. <laughs> I have so much energy right now. He is sold, but he is cool. This is Juggernaut and then these guys, and these guys hopefully will be gone. Oh, and that's the COA. And that's just a glove. Okay, more ponies and ew, you can see me. Don't look. Okay, um, more ponies and stable mates, and then more ponies, and then more ponies, and resin ponies, and more ponies. Please buy me. Okay, bye.